Hello. This lesson, we're going to be working on the blue scale, the all-important blue scale that always sounds good. The thing about the blue scale is there are different forms of the blue scale. And usually, if you just say, oh, play a blue scale, it's actually the minor blue scale. It's got a flat three in it. A G minor blue scale, it looks like this. And you might notice that this actually is a minor pentatonic. Minor third, major second, major second, minor third. That's the minor pentatonic. But if I add that blue note, as it's called, if I add the C sharp or sharp four, that's where you get the blues sound from. So a really good way to remember the minor blues is that we have the one, the flat three, the four, the sharp four, five, flat seven, and one. So those are the really important points of knowing how to transpose that blues scale to a different key. The fingering for the G minor blues scale is as follows. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, if you want to end. If you want it to keep going, you would put your thumb under. So it looks like this. Now here, it's really important that you remember to cross over with four. Now the left hand starts with your fifth finger and uses all fingers. Five, four, three, two, one, and then two. And you come back home with one in case you want to continue to go up or you can come down. Let's play that G minor blues scale at 72, two octaves. There are many, many applications of the blues scale throughout different genres. Certainly in jazz, we're going to use the blues scale very frequently on any dominant chord and most certainly in a jazz blues. So the jazz blues would be... Etc. Okay. Sometimes you'll hear it in an R&B tune too. A lot of the vocalists, when they riff towards the end of the song, they'll use what we call a blue note, which is like the sharp nine or the sharp eleven. They might be doing something like. Sometimes you'll hear them riff a little bit vocally and make it into a bluesy kind of sound, even though it's not a blues, it's not jazz, but it's influenced by the scale, by the roots blues in the um, R&B kind of feel. You can use them in the blues, you can use them to riff on afterwards, and you can use them on dominant chords pretty frequently, a dominant chord being the one, three, five, flat seven. You can add a little something like so. There are a ton of great blues players that you could listen to. Be sure you listen to something by Dr. John or Otis Spann. And then you could also listen to Ray Charles sing and play some stuff. You could listen to anything by B.B. King. Even though he's a guitarist, we can still really love how he plays and plays the blues with such heart and soul. So you want to definitely really immerse yourself in that. There are also jazz blues which is different, it has different scales to it. 
Um, and it's a different feel. And somebody that you could listen to, you could listen to Hank Jones play Bag's Groove, or you could listen to Oscar Peterson play Night Train.